In this tutorial we will look at how to access the PlanetWatch Hodler program and also how to get the most of it. Coming right up! Let's start with a brief overview. The Hodler program is a staking program on steroids. It has huge rewards but also great demands. It involves staking the planet tokens in tiers and attaching them to your own active sensors. You can find all the details in the dedicated page on this program, link in the description of the video. The first step in setting up this program is to go to explore.planetwatch.io and log in using your credentials. Then click on menu and select my wallets. If you've done things like buying vouchers, you will see the wallet you already connected here. If the one you want to use for staking is not in the list, press the connect wallet button. Then click on open my algo wallet. Here select the wallet you want to connect and authorize the connection. To select our staking wallet, click on the choose staking wallet button and then select the wallet. If you want to change it, you just need to redo this step and choose another wallet. Now that we have our wallet connected, we need to go to menu and hodler option. Here we can select from our sensors list the ones that we want to stake. But before doing this step, if you have multiple sensors and haven't decided yet on what sensors to stake and on which tiers, I have a suggestion for you. Go to pwdata.info slash hodler dash calc, link will be in the description of the video. Here you have an awesome hodler calculator made by Achi. You can choose the configuration you have in mind and it will calculate how many planets you need to stake, what discount you will get. And even more interesting, an estimation on how many planets you will get as daily reward and as a bonus. Of course, all these numbers are based on how many sensors will be online and how many will be in the holder program. But this is a great estimation. Regarding optimization, as we discussed in a previous video, there is no extra bonus if you go with diamond or gold tiers. These tiers simply allow you to stake more planets on a given sensor and thus have a greater hodler bonus. But what we can do to be more efficient is to use the sensor's discounts. For each sensor staked in the same tier, you get a 1% discount on the staking amount required on each of those sensors. So for example, a type 4 silver requires 7000 planets to be staked on it. But if you have 10 type 4 sensors and you put them all on silver, you get a 10% discount on each. So instead of having to stake 70,000 planets, you need to stake only 63,000 planets. Basically in this configuration, you get the equivalent of one sensor in silver tier for free. Knowing this, we can use this simple plan. Always stake as many sensors of a type on the tier where you can put all of them. This way, you get the largest discount and the most reward on the total staked amount. Now that we have our plan set, we can configure it on the official HODLER program. So going back to Explorer HODLER program page, we need to click on Add Modify button. Here we will select all the sensors we want to be in this program and then click on Next. We can use the trees button on each sensor to set the tier. And on the right we have a calculator showing the staking amount needed and the discount we unlocked. Once we are happy with our configuration, we need to click on confirm. In this last page we see the final configuration, the required amount, what we have in our wallet and the difference between what we have and what is needed. Make sure that this difference is not negative like I have here. Why is that? Like I told you in the beginning of the video, the other program has huge rewards but also great demands. If you stake 10 sensors and in any given day one is offline, you will get the bonus for the rest 9 sensors. That is because there are elements out of your control that made the sensor offline in that day. But since the planets you put in the Hodler program are 100% in your control, if you don't have the necessary amount for staking in the day of the program and in the day of the reward, you will not get any bonus. So make sure to leave those planets alone. Or if you want to sell some planets, come back to the Hodler section and make the changes needed so that you will not be in a negative difference. 
Let me know in the comment section if you have questions regarding this program. I'll do my best to answer them. In the next video, I will show you how to stake in a safe way using a ledger. That's it for this video. Give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already and stay tuned. Until next time, see ya!